Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be discussing the electron micrographs of the plant cells. Electron micrographs are basically the pictures taken from the electron microscope. So we will have a look at the pictures of plant cells taken from the electron microscope. Let's start. So in front of us is a picture of some plant cells uh, and this picture is taken from the electron microscope. This is basically an electron micrograph. So let's uh, label different structures that we can see. So guys over here, uh, this structure that we are able to see is the nucleus, right? So the structure X over here is the nucleus and how to identify the nucleus in a plant cell nucleus will not be centrally placed the nucleus will be pushed to the edge right and you can notice that there are some dark regions and there are some light regions right so the dark region as you know is the heterochromatin and the light region is the euchromatin so guys if we have to label the parts of the nucleus we can label this as the nuclear envelope and we can label this as the heterochromatin which is the dark chromatin and the light areas represent the euchromatin All right. What else do we see uh, in a plant cell? The empty space in the center that we see is basically the space where there is a cell sap, right? So the empty space that we see in the center consists of cell sap. So Z is basically what? It's cell sap found in the sap vacuole so the fluid over here is the cell sap and when we observe the picture under the or we can say when we observe these cells under the electron microscope we see an empty space in the center where actually there is a fluid called cell sap and the boundary of this fluid is the tonoplast so guys tonoplast together with the cell sap they make up what the sap vacuole so there is sap vacuole in the center of the plant cell which is a large central vacuole right and sap vacuole pushes the cytoplasm at the edge so we have organelles at the edges so this is the cytoplasm and over here you can see a biconvex structure so this biconvex structure is basically the chloroplast, right? So guys, uh, these are chloroplasts, which are what? The biconvex structures, right? And you can see the starch grains in the chloroplasts. So these white large particles are starch grains. All right. What else do we see? We can also see the mitochondria, but in this image, mitochondria are rarely visible. For example, this is the mitochondrion and this is the mitochondrion. So we can also see the mitochondria, right? So let's have a look at another picture of uh, the plant cell as seen by the electron microscope or we can say that let's have a look at another electron micrograph of plant cell so guys over here if we have to label the structures so this is the nucleus and this structure over here is the chloroplast and if we look at this picture so 
structures inside the chloroplasts are evident if you see these dark lines right these dark lines are basically the grana right these dark lines are grana which are stacks of thylakoid right you can also see starch grains so these are the chloroplasts and you can see this structure which is the cell wall right what else we can see uh, this structure over here is the tonoplast that is the membrane of the sap vacuole inside the sap vacuole there is cell sap and the vacuole is the central vacuole or sap vacuole what else do we see we can see the lysosomes also in this uh, image and what else do we see we can see the cytoplasm this is the cytoplasm all right so guys we are done with the electron micrographs of the plant cells thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel I love is everyone.